All right, everybody. Um, I'm just going to show you how to go about making a digital engineering notebook again. Um, I'm doing this for my um, engineering two students for the base project. Um, and this will also apply to engineering one students as well. So I'll put this in the full remote learner resources topic. And I'll also put it in um, the, the base project topic as well. All right. So, first off, um, let's go ahead, let's go back and get the link to the er, um, engineering notebook. So, it's under topics for remote learner resources. Um, digital engineering notebook template. All right, so then you click that. All right, so here it is. You're going to go file. Make a copy. All right. And you can name it with your name. And I'm going to just do my last name. Maybe you do your first initial and last name. Something like that. Save it in your drive. Hit OK. All right. Now, this notebook, if you're my in class student, it doesn't matter where you put it. You do need to share it with me. So you're going to click share and share it with me. All right. Um, if you are a full remote student, you're going to make sure you put this in your uh, shared Dropbox for me. Okay, you got to make sure you put it in that shared Dropbox for me. All right, otherwise, when I go to grade it, I won't see it. Although, I'm probably going to have most people submitting it anyways when I have an assignment due. But for those of you that are full remote, I'm going to check it, you know. Of course, at the at the end of each week, make sure you've updated it throughout that week. All right. I don't want you going a week or two or three without doing anything, and then just try to jam it in all in one day. Um, you know, you gotta spread the work out. That's what you got to do. All right. So, because what ends up happening is then a project's due and it's I don't see it. And, oh, where is it? Well, they weren't keeping up, and so on and so forth. So here's the copy. Change your name, obviously, um, and then you're pretty much gonna you're gonna get rid of this. So this is gonna be the vase project. Vase project. I'm gonna get rid of this one for now. So it's gonna be pages uh, two through something. I don't know what yet. Um, let's say you've made your design. Let's say you have made your design. You're starting from scratch. So uh, I'm gonna delete. I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of this stuff as we go here. Um, the rubric and the instructions, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my instructions for this from the topic. So classes, engineering two, topics, base model. Here it is. I made directions for you now. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You can see the whole thing. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do snipper. Snip tool is moving. I know. I know you've been saying that. And I've used the other tool. I just like the old snipping tool better. All right. So take a crop of it. Take a screenshot of that part. Uh, you can hit copy. Go back to your Google Doc. Got that one. This is the one I'm working on. Um, let me get rid of this. Control V. All right, so there's this. Uh, you should put, you should give it a name, right? Um, no, I guess you don't really need that. But you should sign the bottom of the page. So, Harmon, slash 17, slash 2020. All right, that's your signature at the bottom of the page. This is your rubric pasted in there. Um, you should be dating your entries. Now, let's say I already do that. Let me see something real quick. Um, so I got this, and I'm notebook format, design brief, planning sketch, daily notes. Okay, so design brief. Here we go. All right, so I'm editing this file now, this notebook file for you. Design brief problem statement. It's just this, to design a small vase and print it using thick layers. In base mode on a Creality Ender 5 Plus. So it goes in here. Do design and print 
small base. using thick layers all right design statement um, this for a second you see all right false alarm not a call constraints that's this stuff so you would type that in. I'm not gonna type all that right now sign statement give me a rough idea of what you're doing now um, I'm gonna man I, I made a little planning sketch right so if you're just starting off from scratch you should really do a planning sketch you should sit down with a piece of paper and kind of like imagine what it is that you want to draw you know draw it out do some sketching because you want to make sure you end up doing something that's interesting, right? And it's not going to be interesting if you um, if you uh, just wing it, right? Try to draw something creative. I've seen a cool, couple of cool designs. The big thing is that when you design it, though, that it can be printed all in one continuous motion without stopping and moving over to another part and printing and no supports. Right, so you don't want, you can't do any two edges that are too steep. I should probably have said that um, in the constraints, right? I mean, I guess that design so it doesn't need supports. So I should probably add that. But anyhow, get that filled out, get the constraints, and you sign the bottom of the page 11, 17, 20, 20. Oh, that reminds me. Um, planning sketch. So I took a picture of this, right? Um, I'm gonna put. Planning sketch in here. I'm going to get rid of this one and then I'm going to start my daily notes, right? Um, so I think I already insert picture. So I take a picture of my cell phone, insert image from Drive. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I guess I didn't. Hold on a second. Okay, I need to share some on my phone. I took a picture. I'm just putting it on drive really quick. Sometimes it takes a minute. G Harmon, okay, save. Preparing to upload. Let me throw it back on Wi Fi so it doesn't take too long. Um, and we'll see. It might take a minute for it to show up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this one right now. I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to save that for later, though. That's going to go towards the end. Um, let me actually copy, I'll put that here, picture, finish print, it's going to be on a page later on. So right now it's kind of messy because I'm just trying, I'm trying to just, uh, go through and get this to where we're at here. All right. Um, let's see if I can, let's see if that, uh, planning sketch showed up here. Move this up, go here, this indent feature should be over there. Fortunately, it's in the way. I guess are all the pages, yeah, look at that. Why is that? That's annoying. All right, so here, insert image from drive. Let's see if it's there. There it is. Insert planning sketch. Probably shrink that down a bit. That's kind of crazy. Um, drag it down. Make sure it keeps its aspect ratio. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. Make sure it keeps the right aspect ratio. Planning sketch. You can even crop it, right? So I don't see the desk that it was sitting on. Just get the paper. All right. There's that. And then I start my blog. Started. Did the plain sketch eleven slash eighteen slash twenty twenty 
3D modeled basic design. Um, I don't like the look of the Pentagon. Um, I did this design right, and something weird went on with the Pentagon, right? So I, I did the 3D model, and I, I changed the material that you pop, poly, poly ethylene plastic pet and the five-sided thing did something weird when I lofted it but it's all right I am going to do a screenshot of this as evidence that I did something all right I'm just gonna just evidence that I did something copy paste it in that in there Come back and sign that page in a second. V, control V. You know, so this is just my evidence that I did something. All right. I drew, all right. Someone's yelling. Design as of 11. I'll just call it base, not with a base. I'll say I did it on the 18th, right? Right, and then if I make another change in the next day, you know, change design. Move out the uh, side, because actually if you look at this design, uh, Something weird happened in the loft on this side. I don't know why exactly it went like that, but it did. I mean, I guess I know why, because every corner it's going to do that. But anyway, that's just the way it figured out. Um, it's because of the odd sides. I should have done a hexagon. So anyhow, um, you know, put another screenshot of the new design in there. All right? And then keep going. Export of STL5 can be in So how we're permitting that. So each day I'm adding a note. All right. Um, I'm going to sign the bottom of each page, right? So you can't do this in a footer because the date's going to be different than um, when you sign them. Date's always going to end up different. Man, this is annoying, this margin thing. Should have changed that in the master file. Um, we keep going, all right. So finally, you make a mechanical drawing. So if you go back and look at the rubric, right? Okay, planning sketch, daily notes. That's what this is. This stuff's the daily notes, not the planning sketch. But this stuff, and then evidence that you did something, right? Like an actual picture, and you just continue working, all right. If you want to take the pictures on your phone when you're here in school or take the screenshots when you're here in school and then put them in your notebook the next day so you're not doing that stuff um that's fine okay so let's go back here scroll up look at the rubric mechanical drawing you know how to do that picture of final print you know how to do that part of the daily notes should be the notes on the printing of it right so in your daily notes when you do the printing uh, make sure you put something in there about what happened. All right, you take a drawing should be up above this. It should basically be the order that you did it in. All right, so that's basically it for the digital engineering notebook. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's fairly easy. Um, you should, you know, for your daily note when it's printed, you should make a note of how it looked, how it went. If the print fails, you should note that and take a picture of it. it should be thorough. Okay, so. Um, that's how you do it. All right. So use the notebook I have in there as an example. Use this video as an example. Uh, start doing a digital engineering notebook for the base project, and we'll continue on. All right. Have a good one. Talk to you later.